I don't care how you feel about the election, I want to talk about the dog bots that are patrolling the Mar-a-Lago. And these aren't even owned by Mar-a-Lago, they're owned by the Secret Service. You may notice that it has some attachments, and we can actually figure out what those are. Recently, we've been seeing militaries all over the world announce their use of quadruped dog bots, and the US is selling flamethrower bots that you can purchase for yourself. And of course, the US is just flat out mounting turrets on them. Quadrupeds have some advantages over bipedal robots. They're just a lot sturdier and harder to knock down. They are, of course, all capable of operating autonomously as well as by control. As far as autonomous use by the military, they're reporting that they're not using it just yet. I'm not entirely sure I believe it. One of the advantages of having them run autonomously is they can do search and rescue missions. They can go to places where you may not have radio signal. These guys are going to save lives and they have so many cool uses. And the flamethrower bots, while they do cost $10,000, you can get the bot itself for $1,600 and mount your own. I don't know why I love it. I don't know why I want 10 of them. The other issue with these guys is that you can hack them. They can pose a security risk. Now, the ones that we are seeing operating with the Secret Service are the Boston Dynamics Spot. This is a $75,000 robot. One of the items that we can see mounted to it is a panoramic camera. These can be enabled with night vision as well as thermal imaging. The Secret Service also said that they were enabled with the ability to detect chemical weapons and explosives. Now, the decision to use Boston Dynamics over other models is interesting. Boston Dynamics previously had the largest contracts to make robots with the US. However, Boston Dynamics was purchased by a company in South Korea. They have an 80% stake, and that is going to pose some security concerns. The ones that we see that are armed working with the military belong to another company called Ghost a company based in Philadelphia, and Boston Dynamics won't let people mount weapons on them. For now. Use in surveillance alone is awesome. It's going to save lives and keep people out of harm's way. The turret and sniper-mounted dog bots I think are going to be really useful. I know that they're not really all that different than other robots that are currently in use, but they are intimidating.